Hey there folks, Runium T here and welcome back to Star Ocean the Second Story R. In the last part we went back to Reyna and we spent some time alone in the forest and then we were taken for some wedding thing? Cause this guy wants to marry us? Ugh. I don't like this. I don't like this. We gotta we gotta get out of here. But there's no way to go except well, this way. Uh just want to make sure before I go in that um I'm gonna level up Godspeed again and the France. What is this place? My sweet bride, so wonderful of you to make it to our little wedding. Yeah! Reyna, my dear, you should know by now that you can't escape from me. What is wrong with you? You weren't like this before. No, I wasn't. I've changed, and I have the stone to thank for that. Alan! But that's a trifle matter not worth killing yourself over. Shall we begin the ceremony? Reyna! Close enough. So you're out. Let Reyna go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reyna. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this! Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love! Alan? Love with... Oh, no! Mr. Kenny! First boss fight! For the record, Claude is basically useless. You can R2 plus L to switch characters. Uh, controls for switching can be changed under settings. I uh, will switch to etc. etc. Right. I need to be more careful. Welcome to universe mode <laughs> in this game. Retry, equip accessories. However, it was all planned. Yeah, it, w it was all planned. Cuz. He doesn't know air slash on here yet. Um. We also can't. Change his equipment. Um. <laughs> that's lovely. Okay. This is bad. Be careful. Let's just go ahead and crush. Let. Deal with this. Yeah. 
Okay, we got a break. Let's go ahead and just speed him up for a little while until this break wears off. Now, I'm going to try to attack me so I can heal. He did not combo. Ow! Okay, we're going to use an item for this one. Um, items can only be used every so often. We're just gonna... Pass the time. Root Syrup it up. Careful, Rennie. Let's use one more blueberry. It's not gonna top me. I got Godspeed trigger there. So this is why I was leveling Godspeed, by the way, so I could outrun this guy. Okay, we got this. Let's go ahead and raise Claude so he can get some experience, most importantly. And that's how you deal with Alan on Universe Mode! Um... Yeah... Yeah, I could have just stolen all that experience for myself by not racing Claude, but I would like Claude to have a little experience after this. Yeah, that fight is... That fight's pain, to put it lightly. It is such a pain on Universe. It's a pain normally, which is why you kind of usually need to level up Raid a bit. That was actually being risky going in at only level 7. <laughs> but I probably want to be like level 10 to really be safer. Even then, he's still going to hit like a truck. I still use quite a few items. Right, his claw is now level 3, making up for the fact he didn't get the experience from the two locations. Hey, Lord's Air Slash! Reyna, are you alright? Yeah. What happened to this guy, Reyna? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like he was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan... You were such a good person, too. Reyna... Why did this have to happen? Oh. <sighs> oh. Alan! He's still breathing. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. Now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. 
I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that, but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Reyna! Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reyna's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Hmm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. That's just something that popped into my mind anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Ah, uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request. But frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? All right, I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Reyna! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Reyna, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that, but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're going to need some kind of guide in your travels. 
I could at least provide you with that, right? I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor, help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? Mayor... I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over some. Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Raina, are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. Ah, oh, welcome back, Raina. level has changed. Did you eat anything at the mayor's home? If you did, it's bedtime for you. It's getting pretty late. Um, Mom, listen. Mm hmm? What is it? Mr. Kenny said he'll go check out the sorcery globe for us. Really? Really, but that's not all. I... I was thinking about going along with him. Reina, why would you want to do that? I thought the journey might be too much for him to handle by himself. I mean, he doesn't know a thing about this world. But Reyna! No. Please, Mom. I have to tell you, I know all about... Pardon my intrusion so late, my dear. Wester, uh, could I have a word with you, please? Certainly. I'm gonna get some fresh air outside. Okay, well, let's get some fresh air, and by that I mean let's follow the weird triggers. It's dangerous to be inside the forest at night. Yes, that is what I was talking about in the first episode, in terms of this game has really random triggers to continue the story. Why would you think to go all the way down towards the forest to activate Claude showing up on this bridge here? You wouldn't! You would just explore around and be like, I'm not finding how to advance this. There's such random, random triggers in this game. Still no dice. Guess I'm too far out of range. 
Damn it. Mr. Kenny, are you having trouble sleeping? Oh, Reyna. No, I just... Uh, what are you still doing up? Well, I told my mother I'm going, and, um, she was pretty surprised. I would think so. Did she say no? She didn't say anything, but then the mayor came by. Oh. Listen, Mr. Kenny, there's a reason why I want to come along with you. A reason? What do you mean? My mom. She's not my real mother. I don't think either of them realize I know, but I overheard them discussing it a long time ago. Oh, really? So you want to search for your real mother? I don't know. I don't have anything to go on besides this pendant. But the fact that whoever gave birth to me cared enough to give me this pendant... I think she must have loved me, at the very least. What about the mom you have now? West is the one that raised you. I can tell she has a lot of love and affection for you. What about her feelings? I... I love her. She's the only mother I have. So why all this, then? I want to know what I really am. Where was I born? Why was I in the sacred forest? Where did this power of mine come from? But more than anything else, I want to know what happened to the woman who gave birth to me. I'm not going with you because I want to leave my village. I'm going because one day, I will come back here again. It's getting late. I'm sorry I brought all this up. No, no, it's... Good night. Take care of Reyna for us, Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Be careful out on the road. Of course. I'll be fine as long as Mr. Kenny is with me. I suppose so. Reyna. Don't worry, Mom. I promise I'll be back soon. Saying goodbye like this makes it all the better when I say hello again, right? Yeah, you're right. Come back soon, okay, Reyna? Thanks, Lucian. Remember to be a good boy, all right? Okay. Go on now. Wouldn't want to keep Mr. Kenny any longer than we have to. You'd want to reserve enough time for the trip to cross, no? It's best if you set off as soon as you can. So the first thing to do is visit the King of Cross at the castle, right? That's correct. He will certainly welcome you once you show him my letter of introduction. You'll be able to gather the latest information on what's going on from him. Oh, definitely. I know the King pretty well myself. Let's go then, Reyna. See you later, Mom. Take care, Reyna. If things get tough, you're welcome back here anytime you want. Don't forget that this is your home. I won't forget it. Goodbye, Mom. 
Best of luck to you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you, sir. The world map. Use the R to rotate the world map. Press the options button to toggle mini map. Magnification. Transport every nook and cranny of this gigantic map. Fast travel and slowly travel to any towns, shops, or dungeons that appear to have been visited. Open the guide map with the up button and select destination. The guide map can only be traveled as a little running guy icon. It's not available during certain events. So. We can fast travel to the Selva Mines actually already. We have a private action to do back in Arlius. So. Let's enter it. Private actions. Press a square wheel in a town to toggle to toggle to private actions. Gain a glimpse of the unknown relationships on the other side of your companions. Friendship levels between characters can change depending on which PAs take place and which choices are made. Friendship levels can also change events that occur. Let's switch to private action mode. And actually, another new thing with the whole minimap is you couldn't see where or when you had private actions before, but now you can so there's a little private action here with Claude. I knew it. I'm never getting back to Earth, am I? That's Claude's voice. But coming here has made me realize how vital reality is. That feeling you get when you walk on the ground with your own two feet. The only kind of nature we had on the countess was all just a holographic illusion. If you don't have your own two feet, where what else are you gonna walk around with? All they worry about on Earth was how to make life easier for themselves. They let the important things just slip away. I think I know why everybody's so happy on this planet. This is the way people are supposed to live their lives. Well, it's getting too philosophical for me. I don't really understand why he's trying to say. I'm sure Earth used to be just like this, and if it was, then the only explanation for it is that we messed up somewhere along the way. Along the line. I better enjoy it here while I can. It won't be long before I'll have to make do with artificial trees again. There's gotta be some way to get back. But until then... It sounds like Claude has some heavy thinking to do. I better leave him alone for now. So that was just a little PA we could do. And... Actually, just shortcut to Salva. But I don't want to do that. A. Quick heal. Quick healing can be used by pressing the right button on the map. MP of a healer character is not currently in battle will be used in the party as far as shortcut can also be used. So, like, we can quick heal that way because we can't do it right now because we don't have any missing HP. So, anyways, let's level up some stuff on Claude. Let's give him a faint level. And we could level up the air slash. Actually, no, we kind of have because we didn't have enough. But. Let's get Air Slash set so he'll use it. And... So these actually... The, the one thing with this game that kind of has this in free as well is that you can equip like your stones and stuff. Normally they can be used for item creation, but they can also just give you little effects. Like this ruby is half fire damage, uh, the silver is plus one defense. And so on. So anyway, let's give him a couple necklaces, cause oh, why not? Again, I'm gonna hold off on giving him that better sword, cause that's a hacking lot of attack. And that told me that it's safer to travel along the main road. Take care, okay? And yeah, everyone here's gonna have a different dialogue, but... I want to explore the map, because I didn't do this in the demo. There's also hidden chests out here, I believe. There's also just chests in general. So there's a blueberry chest here. What's back here? Anything? Nothing. Um, I don't want the map that close. Thanks. How are the enemies up here? What's this fight? Be careful. Should be roughly the same thing. And you can also change the AI of your party members to make them like use their MP more or whatever. 
It really will use their MP more. It, it, it does what it says. It will use their MP a whole heckin' lot more. Um... I don't actually know where anything is hidden on this map. This is this whole like there's chests and hidden items on the map is also new to this version. So this is where you're gonna get me going like, uh, I don't know where this stuff is. Well, levels up to four. And Whoa, there's a scary, really scary enemy down there. Can I go down this way? No. Ooh, we're gonna have a chain attack. We can win this. Chain battle. This time without that one really stupid enemy. What was that? Like seriously? Also, Cloud will just stand back there and just air slash, air slash, air slash, air slash. She's just kind of on this do-your-own-thing AI right now. Yeah. But my hometown, my pride and joy. Oh come on, I can't go through there. That is a very scary enemy over there. Heck. Be careful. We better be careful. Alright. He'll run off MP eventually and then he'll level up and we'll be back to this again. <laughs> hey look, he's running off MP. Um, I'm almost leveled on Reyna. Well, there is a treasure chest. Oh, there's some enemies down here, too. So there is a talisman down here. Triple chain attack. Get some more experience. This. On the beach! We're on the beach! Spud, on the beach! Yeah! You ready for this? I honestly forgot for a second that this was a chain battle. Oh, hey, he's not using air slash. Alright, battle three. These are just the same enemies we've been fighting, except for those stupid Jarrells, because those Jarrells. What the heck? Okay, random levels up to eight. When Steep missed. And. Is there anything around here? Seriously. Heck. That's an enemy. My back attack? Did be I just careful. back attack myself? I did careful. not. Okay, good. There we go. Okay. This is the kind of exploring. This exploring like this is why also stuff like I missed some PAs is why I didn't start from the demo, by the way. I was the one to actually explore this map, because I did not. There was a three hour time limit on this? the demo. And I just was like, ah, time limits stress me out. I just don't feel like using Crush. I, could, I just don't feel like it. Okay. Um. Can I get up here? Or are these rocks like, no, you shall not pass? The rocks really are just like, no, you shall not pass. Anything here? I know I saw something about like hidden chests on the world map. I don't know where those are. Go into this little foresty area. That we find. If there's anything around. There's a chest up there. I don't think I ever found how to get that chest. It's all blocked off by rubble and stuff. Um, is, is there something here? I'm thinking there's nothing. Double check, I don't have a PA sitting around. I don't. I guess we'll have the Selva. I don't think I remember there having been a PA in Selva the first time you go to it. Maybe it was after. I don't remember. I don't remember. Cause yeah, there's the chest is up here somewhere, and I don't know how to get to it. Alright, so let's enter Selva. Cause also, hey, there's a healing point here. 
Um, they have places to explore, and there was a chest in Alan's boss room. Mommy, I'm hungry. I agree, actually. I agree. I need to start cooking dinner soon. Uh, rumors are saying that Alan went crazy after finding a mysterious stone in the Salva Mines. I don't know what that's about, but it sure sounds scary. We got our little jam store here. Why not buy some jam souvenirs? So we get strawberry, raspberry, and apple jam. You're not buying anything? No. I'm not. Whoopee! Wow, it turns out there really is a hero light. He's supposed to be really cute to boot. What the heck? Rumors are spreading about you, Claude. Run! Okay, let's go into the inn. You charge me full, don't you? 20 full? No. Um, hi. I think I'll buy a whole bunch of jewelry for my wife and daughter. The girl that Bernard's son kidnapped was returned safely to Arlia, but who do you think rescued her? Don't know. There's a chest on the left side here with portrait B. Okay. We have the jewelry and the weapon shop here. Would you like some high quality jewelry made with stones from the Salva Mines? Um, they do actually have some jewelry here for sale. It's hecking expensive, but they have some. Um, I think we're good right now for what we have. Also, I don't have much money. I do want to check the weapon shop, though. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Help! There's nothing. Oh, there's some greaves for Claude? Uh, and leather helmets. I can't- you can buy multiple things at once, but... Got a good eye. Alright, let's equip that leather helmet, and the leather helmet and leather greaves. Got a little more defense now. Hi. When is Alan acting crazy because of the sorcery globe? Maybe. Well, they finally managed to open up the mines again. That's just that path. Alright. The Seven Dwarves Bar. If you have any talents, you might want to check out the status screen to see if you do. Uh, it's so difficult to cook when you have such a terrible sense of taste. The talents is actually a thing in this game. Uh, friendship level indicators are here. Uh, more hearts the closer they are, higher friendship costs certain events to occur. It affects the ending of the game. Uh, so we have one heart with friendship. And you can see our talents. Uh, I think Nimble Fingers is the one that some people like reset over. Like you want it on your character you start with because of pickpocketing later. But looks like I did not get it, so pickpocketing is gonna be interesting. How's it going? Now that they've reopened the Silver Mines, all the guys have gone back to work. You can learn it. Only customer here is that guy at the end of the counter with no sense of taste. Anything in here? That's the main thing I'm looking for, you guys. I don't remember where chests are. Okay. So yes, the mines are back open. I don't think... Oh, there might be another little line or something in here. If we find Alan. There he is. Oh, hi, Reyna. Hi Hello, Claude. How are you feeling, Alan? I'm feeling much better, thanks. What brings you here today? Will you decide to sail over the L to investigate the Sorcery Globe? The Sorcery Globe? Isn't that dangerous? But someone has to do it, right? Don't worry about me, Alan. Mr. Kenny will make sure that I'm safe. No, I trust Claude, but I still can't help but feel a little worried. You're always worrying too much. I'll be fine, I promise. Well, good luck and take care of yourselves. Yeah... 
So let's go ahead and head into the mines. So I want to go grab that chest from Alan's room real quick. So this is one of the entrances we couldn't use before. We'll see in a moment. We're just right back here. And also you can see that little blocker is uh, no longer on the map. So we can wander into the tougher enemies if we so desire. We could probably fight some things. But these are just the same enemies that we've been facing. Yeah. Maybe a little tougher. Basically the same enemies. Yeah. Like, no experience because we have two people and it's being split. So... I feel like I that chest. Yeah, it's on the map. I got that chest. We're fine. Leave me alone, I just want Alan's treasure. That's all I'm here for. Oh. Was that a bad Behind attack? It was! Rip bonus gauge. Okay, this would be a good time to use the air slash claws. With all these enemies. Cool. Oh, well, I see that. Well, we got our tax back. That's what I get for trying to be greedy and sneak past him. I should have just fought him from the front. I wouldn't have lost my bonus cage. Anyways, Alan's room. There was a chest here. Let's grab that. Get our rope. Wow, that was not exciting. A robe. Wow. Now we have to get out of here. Uh. Leave me alone! I'm leaving you alone. Leave me alone. I mean, this is a nice thing about having, you know, enemies visible on the map instead of random encounters is you can dodge them a whole lot easier. So, just right through here. I mean, either exit would have worked, but this way we don't have to go through Alan's Manor. Just have to go through this one screen of the mines. And it gets us back out to Selva. And into the next part of our map. Cross City is a little more to the north. I think, yeah, we cannot put travel to it. We actually have to walk. We could put travel to Selva because we'd, you know, been there. In cutscene! We better be careful. Oh my gosh. But we had been there. Wait for the nice one for us. Yeah, it was just in the way. We need so many necklaces. Um, I see the marker of where to go. I'm going not that way. I don't feel like going to cross right now. Also, there's a treasure chest over here. There's a three blackberries chest. Up here. What the heck? Be careful. What is we this? Better be careful. Yeah. Come on. Give me enemies that get more experience. Like, let me get my revenge on some Jarrells. That'd be a great start, actually. I'm also getting like no BP. Is there anything here? No. It's just a thing. Cool. Um. Well, we got some blackberries, I guess. I believe the item limit is still 20, which is just a Star Ocean thing, that your item limit is 20. That is definitely something to keep in mind. And I've definitely also really extended the path out to uh, cross from what it used to be. Oh, this is actually tempting. Be Can't attack. We better be careful. The same for the enemies. Oh, they'll get a little more experience for it. Also, I guess I need to build up my gauge again. Yeah. Here they come. We got enemies. Actually, I'll get that 1.5 times experience out of this instead of, you know, well, I'll, I'll get like 3 more experience. Oh, actually, yeah, I got 48 experience. Not bad. Well, yeah. I'll get a little bit more. Anyway. 
anyway. Let's go on a treasure hunt. Nothing there. Because I don't know where treasure is. So it's getting dark. Because the closer we get to cross right now, the darker it actually is going to get. Because must be right in the middle of the continent of cross. Uh, there's a dungeon up here. I think I'll just walk into it real quick to get it on my quick travel. Oh, there's a chest too! Treasure! Oh no, okay, it's not red. So we get a gold cross. This could be useful. Alaska's Mountains. Uh, we probably need a lot of preparation to climb that mountain. Anything near the start? Red enemies. Very, very red enemies. Let's not go that way. But it's now in... There's a sub-event! But very, very red enemies. So, <laughs> sub-event is fine. It can stay there for a bit. Oh, I think I remember what's there, actually. Now I think about it. Um, there's cross. It's gonna be dark now, because... That's where they expect me to go, is, you know, cross. Uh, I see a treasure chest! Actually, speaking of treasure, equipment. Gold cross. What does that accessory do? Gold cross is a bunch of hit. Cool. Um. Are these just still the same enemies, by the way? I might regret this. We but... better be careful! We can win this! Yeah. Still the same enemies. We can win this, I hope. Yeah, this is the same nonsense we've been finding this whole time. I want to go get a treasure chest. Because, you know, up here. Hey, it's another one of those scary enemies. Down there. Way over there. Eggs and dairy. Wow. I thought it was an ingredients chest, but still. How exciting. Um, normally if you try to explore like this, like on the original versions, <laughs> um, or on the old versions, you would just run into enemies that would just completely kick your butt. So it's, it's nice to explore, okay? Still a little bit close to cross right now though. For games like, uh, it's gonna be dark, by the way. Um... That path leads into cross, which is where we want to go. But that way leads to stuff we'll see eventually. Anyway, so I'll hold off on going there for now. And I'll just head over the cross. I'll be good. Finally. And also, I want to get rid of this whole like it's going to trying to go to nighttime business doing on me. I don't want that. I have several reasons I want to go to Cross. That Cross is much bigger than Sawa. Huh? Really? Maybe we'll find some clues then. Oh, well, let's deal with this enemy. Here they come. You ready for this? First. I don't think you actually see this nighttime battle scene very often. Unless they change it. They could have changed that. I think that was eight out of ten. I don't think we get to see it very often. Anyway, we're at cross, so I'm gonna call it good here. Go ahead and save it. And say thank you all for watching. Next part we'll head into cross castle, cross town. Hey, seriously, they're just gonna respawn on me. I'm gonna have to be in the menu. I wanna be on the map, but Thank you for watching! <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. If you really enjoyed it, consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps to keep being content like this and more. 
Find links for that in the description below, along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, this is Rinny MT signing out. Bye!